welcome to the Unknown Commonwealth Editor's Office. Our first issue will be published soon. Don't forget to get one. Would you like to have a short interview? As a newcomer, you must have many fun stories to share. It won't take you a long time. What do you say? Marvelous. Your suit tells me you're from Vault 111, which I've never seen before. Could you tell me about the vault? Sounds scary. Maybe I can start an investigation there. Okay, next question. What brings you to Diamond City? It's destiny. In the end, everyone in the Commonwealth comes to Diamond City at least once. Now the last question. Any good news to share with us? Wow, that is something. Okay, the interview's done. Lots of great stories. Hmm. I can keep this for the next issue, and this... Hmm. You're a strong fighter. I can tell from your scars and your stories. Do you think you could protect me while I interview a ghoul in the Commonwealth? I met her once. She seemed friendly, but cautious. Diamond City doesn't know much about ghouls, and that's why I want Hoy to be the feature of my first issue. I can't go there by myself due to my fear of blood. Please help me. Let's go. I've left some markers to help me remember the right way. Follow me. Perfect. Let's go. Our security guards are doing a great job of keeping this area safe. We can follow the paved road to the wilderness quite safely. I'm used to leaving Marcus, a white diamond symbol, along the route to guide myself. And I also leave some supplies near the Marcus. Big brain plan, right? Turn right and follow the railroad. The marker we're looking for is on a red carriage. We can also find some purified water there. Always good to have some preparations. Everything's gonna be okay. Take it easy, Oliver. Oh, you're back. Get rid of the dogs? Just a second. I need to take a deep breath. Huh. Okay, let's go. Those dogs do need a leash. Too rude. I'm a dog lover, but these dogs? No way. I don't believe anyone can love them. Except maybe super kids, I guess.
Wait, wait. Here's another marker. I left some supplies in the carriage of the truck. But be careful about the ghouls there. I doubt they're real dead bodies. I'll stay here until you clear the path. And don't forget to get some supplies from the truck. Incredible fighter. Now let's go to where I met Pan. Follow me. The road leads to a submerged estate, Myloik's paradise. Last time I got too close to a bunch of eggs, Myloik suddenly appeared and tried to kill me. You wouldn't believe how fast those monsters could be. Then Pam said. Sorry, it's all my fault. Are you okay? I hate this nasty place. I'll never come here again. Just a little bit, but the smell. I need to stop bleeding. Please, please help me. Oh, thank you so much. Wait a second. I feel much better now. Let's move on. See the boat on the river? Several abandoned houses are on the other side. That was where I lost Pam's trail. I believe her shelter's in this area. Let's go have a look.
Say your name. Stop moving. Answer my question. I'm Oliver. We met before. You saved me from Myaloix a while back. I'm a journalist, and I'm curious about your story. Ponytail boy. I recognize you now. How do you know about this place? What's your purpose? I'm looking for a great feature for the first issue of my newspaper. Would you like to have an interview to share your story with our readers? Uh, interesting. What do you think you decent people will care about an old woman living in the underground? Never mind. It's not my business. Come in and take a seat if you want to talk. condition. So tired these days. Oh, no need to be sorry. If you are okay with it, I would like to start our interview. For starting the interview, shouldn't you introduce this woman in the vault suit? No, not you. I want to hear her own words. I see. I can tell this boy is not good at fighting. He looked trustworthy. Okay. Ready to have this interview now. Nice. Could you uh, give me a short introduction about yourself and your friend, um, Rick? Call me Pam. I've been in the world for too long to remember my last name. The nuclear bombs didn't kill me. They turned me into this, while taking away all my families. I once lived in Diamond City, but left when they said ghouls were not welcomed anymore. I found this basement for a while. It's not a good place. Well, it used to be safe enough for us. As for Rick, he's my little boy. Hey, Rick, say hello to Oliver. Hello, Olive. My name is Rick. I hope you have a nice time here. Good boy. Now, Mom needs to stay with Oliver for a while. You can take care of yourself, right? He's your son. But you just said that you lost your family in the war, and he's... Rick is... a super mutant. How could he... Rick is a nine-year-old boy. Somehow got infected by the FEV virus. His family abandoned him. It's not his fault that he's the one that got punished. When I met him, heartbreaking. Can't imagine how bad people can be to such an innocent boy just because of his appearance. He's my boy. He's my son. He's my only reason to stay in this crazy world. Poor boy. He's so lucky to have you. And how's your life on the ground? It's hard to imagine living like this. This basement used to be a good shelter. Quite safe. Easy to get food. These my lives are easy to deal with if you know the weakness. Rick loves the taste. It's easy to get toys, books, other supplies. They're important when you have a nine-year-old boy. But things have changed. He's wondering glowing stuff and Yao Gai make these days real tough. We haven't been outside for a week. The glowing ghoul isn't a problem now. We killed it. 
It will come back. I killed two, but more came. I'm not sure what's going on here. What? This is too dangerous. Haven't you thought about moving somewhere else? Seriously, not only for your sake, but also for Rick's. Where can we go? Diamond City doesn't welcome ghouls and super mutants. All the places? Can't even figure out where they are. Don't want to wander in the wilderness without a destination with Rick. You'll never know what will happen. A friend here has been to many places in the Commonwealth, and I know people. I think we can help. Could you share with Pam? Maybe even some poisonal thoughts? I have a plan if you want to try. I'm quite confident we can solve your identity issue, and I can take care of you and Rick in Diamond City. No need to worry about that. I know a ghoul shopkeeper and good neighbor. If you want, I can ask if she would like to help. I've never been there, but it sounds really nice. I believe you and Rick can have a good start. I personally don't recommend staying. Right. Think about it, Pam. Think about the life you would like to have. Every choice has both benefits and problems. No much more than me. I'll trust your judgment. I'm sure I can also do something to help them. As I said, I think it sounds like a good place. I'd like to check it with my own eyes if needed. I've heard about the shopkeeper, Daisy. She sounds good and easy to work with. If we can offer her some benefit, it's possible to persuade her to take care of Pam and Rick. I know the immigration officer, and he's in trouble now. I think we have a chance to get things done. I do hope we can help... What's your advice? Okay, I'll be here waiting for your good news. No worries, we can do that for you. Come on, let's talk about our plan. Yes, Diamond City requires a formal application if you want to reside there. I know it sounds weird, but it's a good way to ensure safety. Saul Checker is the immigration officer. He loves money, and the position is a perfect chance for him. But he often gets in trouble because of his greed, like now. If we can solve his problem, it's fair to ask for a favor. We aren't accepting any applications today. Come on, Saul. You know that's not true. Hey, boy. This isn't the place for your funny little interview. And your friend. She doesn't need to make an application since she's our mayor's guest. Now leave me alone. Nah. Wrong answer. A poor mom and her cute boy would like to join us. I believe you won't refuse as long as you read my report about their story. Your report? They're not humans? No way. You know this is Diamond City. No way. Don't make up your mind so quickly. You know people love this kind of story. A poor mom is holding her boy's hand in a nasty cave 
willing to do anything for her little prince. Everyone will read the story, as well as our mayor. And if you do us a favor, we would like to solve your problem. My friend is a strong woman, you know. She can solve all your problems. My problem? Yes. Yes. You know, Diamond City is the pearl in the Commonwealth. As an immigration officer, I'm willing to help those poor people. Hundreds of files, you know. But I'm a human. So when going through all of them, I make mistakes. Unfortunately, our mayor doesn't understand that. There's a file I need you to get back. You help me, and then I'll do you a favor. Pretty fair, huh? So what? I'm not there. And you are what mm -hmm. if they, unfortunately, lose some file. But it happens. It's life. Get the file, then I'll help your ghouls. <clears throat> you got it? What? You shameless bastard. Fine. Take... What a shitty bastard. I hope you get all the bad luck. That I promise your nasty ghoul friend will not pass the entrance to Diamond City ever in their life. I'm not joking. Don't even think about messing with me. Lovely. Just wait a second. It's done. They're now Diamond Citizens. <clears throat> well done. I'm sure the exclusive report will be phenomenal. When Pam and Rick arrive in Diamond City, I'll take care of them. Good job. Here's your reward. Now it's time for me to go back. I've never met you before. Understand? It's better for the both of us. I like here. No one serves dogs to me. And the food is really great. Hey. Nice to meet you again. I'll have to admit, Rick is much happier in Diamond City. Even he still can't go out frequently. Appreciate your help. Hey. Pam is helping me with the editor work. And Rick is learning how to cook. I'm happy to take care of him. advice okay that's fair been kicked out by diamond city once 
know the importance to have a more tolerant community. I'll be here waiting for your news. It's not a bad idea. I might know who we can talk to. Let us deal with that. <clears throat> we need to talk to Daisy to see if she can take care of Pam and Rick. You lead the way, and I'll talk to her. Daisy. Daisy, right? I'm Oliver, the reporter who sent you a letter. Uh -huh. Ah, nope. I'm here to ask if you can help a poor mother and a lovely boy. They're eager to come to Good Neighbor. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, of course. I think it must be very hard to take care of your shop just by yourself. I forgot to mention that the mom is a good fighter, and also a ghoul, while the boy is a super mutant. I believe it'll be helpful to keep these nasty thieves away, and if you need anything else, we're happy to help. Mm-hmm. Hey, Daisy. Glad to stay with the Minutemen, but I'm not sure how to get there. I can draw a map for you, but I also don't know where Sanctuary is. Maybe... Let's have a discussion. If you take me to Sanctuary, I can draw a map for Pam. I'm ready to follow.
Hi. Aha. This is Sanctuary. What a lovely place. Wait a second. Uh, let me finish the last pop. Mm. Mm. Nice job, Oliver. Okay, here it is. I can't wait to tell Pam. Sanctuary with Rick as soon as possible. Hey there. Well done. I'm sure the exclusive report will be phenomenal. Sanctuary seems welcomed all kinds of good people. Hope they'll like it. Now it's time for me to go back to my work. Here's your reward. Good job. Bring some boots to me when you come back next time. I want to tell mom a new story. Hey there. The people in Sanctuary are kind and friendly to us. Glad you sent us here. What's your advice? Well, I understand. Outside is still too dangerous to us, right? I'm not sure, but I respect your opinion. Here's your reward. I need to go back to finish my report now. Mm -hmm. 